My name is Joanne Bender and I brought two items here today. The first one is a railroad lantern that my poppy used. He shoveled coal into the trains that ran from the, it's the police station in Milton now, but it was the train station. And actually when I went to nursing school uh, in 1967, I could get the train in Milton, ride it to Harrisburg, switch to Lancaster and ride the train down and back, which was really a fun time for me. And the other item that we brought today is there was a mill and it's still in town, uh, Custer's Mill. And this is a rolling pin and it's now called Rhodes's Mill. When I was a young girl, my youngest sister got very sick. Back then, family doctors made house calls. His name was Dr. Carr. He came to our house one evening, uh, somewhere between 10.30 and 11 o'clock, and told my parents that they had to take my youngest sister to the hospital. And they did, and she was in a diabetic coma. And I have been very thankful that he saved her life and the kind of medicine that he practiced. And I'm very proud to live in a blue collar town because, you know, when I was a young girl, um, the Presbyterian Church sponsored uh, an Eastern European family, the Schwartzes. Then when I was in high school and the Vietnam War was going on, the Lutheran Church sponsored a Vietnamese family. And I think although we are a small town, we are very open to other races and religions. Can you tell me, um, this doctor that you're speaking of, can you tell me his first name? Richard. Richard Carr. K-A-A-R. And the interesting thing about him, he was also an artist. And he painted pictures and his family, after his death, took what they wanted and then they donated the pictures to the Historical Society. So Bob and I went down and bought a painting and brought it home and then I thought, we really should have another one. So we went back down and we bought, we have four children, so we bought four more. And then I got home and I thought, oh my word, my sister who was diabetic that he diagnosed, um, she has one child. So I thought she should really have a picture and know this story. So I went back down and his son was like really teasing me. He goes, now, how many paintings of my dad's are you going to buy tonight? I can give you a group discount. But that hangs proudly in our dining room and it's nice to have artwork for a man that really meant a lot to our family.